Hello listeners. Welcome to our English program podcast Kaleidoscope. Listeners, in our today's program, we have an interview with Gunwant Sonawne, the founder of Bhujal Wari movement. Listeners, as you know, there are many drought prone areas in the state and Maharashtra's Chaisgaon taluka is one such area. There are several bouts of water shortage threatening the livelihoods of thousands of farmers over year. Drought conditions create havoc on such a level that the traditional crops that drive the local economy here such as soya pulses maize cotton they are almost to ruin and the situations often result in farmer suicides but there is one computer engineer in the taluka's kalmadu village who is trying to turn the tide in the favor of farmers in the past few years the pune based it professional gunwant sonawne has helped 26 villages save crores of liters of water which has benefited more than 50000 farmers in our today's program kaleidoscope we will know more about this initiative of bhujal wari movement and the man behind it gunwant sonawne so let us listen to an interview with the founder of bhujal wari movement gunwant sonawne the interviewer is karishma punjabi What is a computer engineer doing in the world of water conservation? Let's find out on our show Kaleidoscope with me Karishma and our guest Mr. Gunwant Sonavane who has been passionately involved in the field of water conservation and has successfully stored more than 400 crore liters of water until now. Gunwant sir, what exactly is the principle behind the Bhujal water movement and Gramodaya? Yeah, I mean, uh, very interesting story behind this Bhujal Abhiyan. We started which uh, six years back. So when we were doing the work for the education, uh, I visited a couple of villages, and uh, there were a culture of Varkari Sampradaya in Maharashtra. What is going on those days? So I I knew uh, a lot of things about uh, Varkari Sampradaya. We know that this is Varkari Sampradaya is a seven hundred to eight hundred years old tradition. where people uh, unites in the holy place of dehu and holy place of alandi which is a sant gnaneshwar maharaj and tukaram maharaj's place and from there people walk on their foot uh, for 21 days uh, for hundreds of kilometers just to see the god panduranga or vithala which yeah, is in the pandarpur that's incredible yeah mm. so that moment i realized that if we want to have a sustainable water development or water conservation work needs to do we need a such a volunteer because in wari you you will not get any invitation card or any invita- invitation letters to come to, to walk in the wari people selflessly come with a, a bhakti marg their intention is a bhakti marg their they only chant about tukar tukaram mauli gnaneshwar mauli and then gnaneshwar uh, mara said that uh, जो जे वाचल तो ते लाहो फ्रॉम दैट लाइन वी स्टार्टेड दिस भूजल अभियान एंड वी कॉल आर वॉलंटियर्स एज अ भूजल वारकरी दोज वारकरी हु विल वॉक फॉर वॉटर टू सेव ईच एंड एवरी ड्रॉप ऑफ अ वॉटर सिमिलरली सेवन हंड्रेड इयर्स आय गो ज्ञानेश्वर महाराज हैज इम्प्लिमेंटेड दिस वारी संप्रदाय देर इज अ वन अभंग सेट बाय बहनाबाई ज्ञानदेवे रचिला पाया उभारुनी देवालया नामा तयाचा किंकर त्याने केला हा विस्तार जनार्धन एकनाथ खांब दिला भागवत तुका झाला से कळस भजन करा सावकाश बहिना फडक ते ध्वजा त्याने रूप केले होजा इफ आय ट्रान्सलेट इट इन द इंग्लिश फॉर द इंग्लिश लिस्नर आय कॅन से दॅट सेवन हंड्रेड एट हंड्रेड इयर्स बॅक ज्ञानेश्वर महाराज हॅज सेट अप this bhakti marg for the workers and later that it has been uh, on a, a big level or mask level awareness created by namdev maharaj tukaram maharaj janardan maharaj and in, in in and at last tukaram maharaj is the one who has created uh, awareness in the all the people in the all the workers by his uh, bhajan ovi this is what is mean and on the similar line we would like to take this bhujalwari uh, in the villages with the aim of creating 
awareness creating water literacy and creating ground water uh, recharge so that we can save each and every drop of water and to build that we need uh, bujal varkaris thank you that was music to my ears so rustic gunman ji you are an it engineer by profession does that help you in this beautiful initiative of water conservation so yes uh, it helped me a lot because uh, being a, an it engineer i can relate the science and technology with the water conservation i can find the good networks i can find the good people uh, say an example geologist hydrologist so so it uh, it field is really helping me uh, for the water conservation work amazing how two different uh, lines of education can merge together and bring a powerful impact True. that's amazing yes so gunwan sir please tell us how exactly do you create the storage of 400 more than 400 crore liters of water so 6 years back when we started this movement called as bhujal abhiyan so bhujal abhiyan is the water movement which is not a ngo or not a company but it's a movement which is uh based on the principle of varkari sampradaya so similarly we started this movement with the intention or with the aim of increasing the ground water level and create the water literacy among the people because now in days we see in every village there are doctors nurses teachers everybody is there but we don't have the uh, people or the scope of people or the talent of the people who understand the technical things of the water so our intention basically was to create the, that group of people who understand the technology science behind the water and this uh, story has started 6 years back so as you mentioned that we have created 400 crore liter water storage capacity so in that what we have done so we are working with 34 villages we have form a cluster of 34 villages where we are uh, creating a watershed management plan water security plan we develop a water budget of the village and according to that we plan to work so in in that work we include the science so for that we need a geologist hydrologist with their help we create a watershed plans and water security plans on the basis of that we develop a different structures so when i say different structures we create or rejuvenate the lakes we do a cctis deep cctis where where the geologist and hydrologist suggested the place where we do the work and also as per their suggestion we do nala widening and deepening work so on the surface level we have created this 400 crore liter water storage capacity i would like to add the one thing so there is a problem of a volunteer so that's why we have principally follow the structure of a varkari sampradaya so in our movement in every village we have a 6 to 10 members we called as a bhujal varkari so their intention is to save each and every drop of water because there is only 1% of fresh water available which is invisible we would like to make that invisible to visible so that people understand the importance of uh, ground water gunman sir urban india's biggest challenge as of date is water scarcity the data reveals that residents in 22 out of 32 major cities have to deal with water shortage every single day so what precautions would you recommend that need to be kept on adding day after day in our lives to keep conserving water sure that is a very good question actually but before i go into the precaution thing because we can get lot of precautions on the google and we can go the lot of i mean we can read all all the statistics on the google but i would like to give one example of the hummingbird we in the school read heard of the hummingbird story so basically uh, there was a long forest in that forest there were a fire and lot of animals comes out of that forest everybody was seeing that fire is there on the forest but hummingbird was one of the bird who flies into the lake and the bird takes a drop of water and that that water drops into the fire this is what up and down was going on and elephant saw that and ele- elephant was laughing on the hummingbird <laughs> and replied that what you will make a difference hummingbird said that i will do best what i can uh-huh. so i would like to make a point that be a hummingbird don't worry about the people there are a lot of problems challenges we are bombarded with that but work on the part of the soil conservation water conservation and do whatever best you can do that and about the question there are a lot of precautions are available 
so we need to follow those precautions that uh, repair your taps and all these things these precautions are available but be a, a hummingbird in your real life thank you oh, we need to keep humming this yes. every single day conserve drop by drop um that makes me ask you about the impact of your initiative what are your future plans so if you ask me the impact so i mean uh, definitely positive impacts so uh, for last 6 years uh, we have we are running this bujla bian water movement in chalisgaon area of maharashtra so in this 6 years we have created around 400 crore liter water storage capacity which is helping to around 50000 odd farmers because uh, in the water conservation field i come by chance by choice i was doing a volunteering in the field of education so there is an ngo called as seva sayog i am volunteering with that ngo for last 10 plus years so in pune uh, we have still 45% population lives in the slum mm-hmm. and the main challenge there is that people or the parents cannot afford the good education to their students and while we doing the surveys we found that there is a big gap in the basic education for those kids so we started community learning centers in those communities it is not a replacement for the uh, government schools or education but it we are trying to bridge the gap between the basic education to the schools and the community learning center and this is how my journey started with seva sayog i was used to go, go into community learning center and i was teaching to those students and i have set set up couple of community learning centers and there is one more program of seva sayog called as school kit so we donate the school bags school new school bags to the underprivileged students who cannot afford the new ba- new bags so somewhere in 2016 one idea come into my mind that why i can't donate these bags to chalisga because i originally come from there mm-hmm. so in 2016 we started donating we started visiting schools we got a requirement from school and then we started donating the bags but in 2018 we saw that there are a lot of school drops and it was like a pathetic situation every student should get a right to why was that education. happening would why you say why was that happening mm-hmm. so when we reached to the root cause we found that that is happening because of the migration basically those people those villagers are sugarcane workers and every 6 months i mean in a year they are migrating for 6 months for sugarcane working because they don't have a local employment available mm-hmm. then the idea behind was that if we need to stop the migration then we need to provide a local employment to them so local employment then it should be agriculture based employment and they have the farms but they don't have the water yes and that is the one trigger point that we need to start the water conservation work so that we can provide the water them they can do the farming and if they get a local employment their students their kids will come into the school one was that trigger point and second trigger point was that i read a news in local newspaper that group of women and girls needs to walk on a foot for 2 to 4 km to get a single bucket of water oh goodness that too in the month of april and may you can imagine in north maharashtra temperature is 40 plus degree temperature so these are the two trigger points where i switch from education to the water conservation but the motto with that that people will get employment in the village itself and their kids will come into the school and this is how the journey has been started so far uh, the positive benefits or positive impacts is that we could able to stop the migration to to 70% in couple of villages so i can tell one village name abhone tanda where migration is stopped to 70% kids are now going to the school people are taking two crops in a year we are not insisting three crops in a year but they are taking two crops in a year now uh, their per year income increased to 10000 to 20000 per wow. year and the most important thing is that animals are getting water now to drink oh my god because Beautiful. human can manage the water but how about animals the lake which we have rejuvenated so far we have rejuvenated 16 lakes in 11 villages so there animals are getting the water drinking water is sol almost 50% and agriculture is getting 
the water not only are you working towards the flow of water you are also making education flow for all these uh, wonderful people of our country yes that is necessary if, if you have a vision for the atmanirbhar bharat then we need to work on the education part that is essential it's actually. highly commendable sir the lakes that you have rejuvenated so far gunwan sir please throw some insight on that so we have a, a concept called as a one village one lake because the every village don't have the access to the river but there are certain stages of a water so it starts from the precipitation to evaporation infiltration then runoff and then surface water storage and then it goes to the ocean or lake so we realize that if you want to make the villages water independent we need to create the water storages in the villages itself mm uh-huh. so then at that time we thought that there is there are a lot of lakes in the villages i mean a lot of villages have the lake but we we saw some challenges either those lakes are illegally acquired by the people oh. one other one was that those are not in good condition either they are leaked or they are full with silt then we realized that we should implement concept called as one village one lake so that we can store each and every drop of water which is running off from the surface we can store into that water so till now we have rejuvenated uh, 16 such lakes in 11 villages wow so problem is common everywhere whether it's rural or urban but the more focus is on the urban areas but gandhi ji told uh, that khede kade parat chala mm-hmm. but but to do that we need help in the rural areas as well and mm-hmm. lot of csr companies don't want to uh, cross the limit or the radius of 50 to 100 km rejuvenation of this lake we I'll, i'll tell three impacts of this first please the good silt transported into the farm so that top layer soil has been converted one mm-hmm. second ground water level because lake is one of the uh, highest resource to recharge the ground water because we do the shaft as well into that lake under the guidance of the geologist so we use a science there so that ground water we are able to recharge that and lot of animals are getting the water out of this lake oh. and we we see lot of benefits i mean we can talk further mm. but yes one village one lake is really helping us excellent but sir when we store this water there is a difference between access to water and access to clean water so is any processing being done to clean the water currently we are not using this water for the drink this is only for the agriculture purpose we need to work upon the recycling of the water currently mindset is that use the water and discard yes. that is something needs to be uh, changed we need to keep creating the awareness i think this show will do that part oh it certainly will how do you manage to get the funds for doing all this work sir csr is the one source corporate social responsibility lot of it companies do share their 1% profit for the csr okay so with the help of csr companies i am able to uh, manage the csr so seva sevak foundation is the one who is helping me out mm-hmm. but i would like to take some names without their help i would have not be able to create this much storage and lake so epiroc mining india with the help of nam foundation is the one who has supported in the one village one lake concept there are also um, nexus malls is there wonderland india private limited media ocean asia private limited caring friend these are the some organization who are helping with us uh, from their csr i'm taking their names because everybody is talking about the urban problem i mean the problems is common everywhere whether it's urban or the rural severity might be different but when when it comes to the rural area there are very few people who wants to help in the rural area so i'm sitting in pune i'm working 350 km away and if you want to help them we need uh, some csr companies who wants to who wants to work for the real cause and these are the companies who break the barrier of 50 km or 100 km radius and they are helping for a cause which is 350 km far excellent sir thank you sir thank you so very much gunwan sir for giving us these insights on our show kaleidoscope sure. we look forward to being with you again some day sure thank you so much it is our pleasure indeed so my dear listeners if we don't conserve we will be like fish out of water on that fishy note this is karishma saying goodbye
So listeners, that was an interview with the founder of Bhujal Wari movement, Gunwant Sonone. The interviewer was Karishma Punjabi. Hope you enjoyed this conversation. We will be back with another exciting program. Until then, thanks for listening and please stay tuned as our next program follows.